Hi everybody, this is Miro, and welcome to the ninth part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. In this part, we will take a look at user stories and data structure. What is user story in software product management? User story is a description of feature in a software system in informal and natural language. And the user stories for this application are, a user should be able to create, read, update, and delete customer, author, and book, assign book to an author, lend a book to a customer, return a book back to the library. Let's create a semantic data diagram. We will need only three classes, customer, author, and book. And we will need two relationships as well. An author can have many books and a customer can borrow multiple books at once. Now we can implement our simple data model. Switch to the Visual Studio. Now create new project file new project .NET Core ASP.NET Core web application I will name this library management course I will add git support and hit ok select .NET Core ASP.NET Core 2 and web application MVC and hit the ok button now I will create new folder right click on the project add and folder I will name it data and there I will store the whole data related logic create one more folder within this data add folder and name it model and now we can create our three classes add new item search for class and I will name this customer Keep in mind that we want to use this data model with Entity Framework Core 2. This means for now that we need an ID for each class because the class is like blueprint for the table within your database. There are multiple ways how to define an ID. I will pick the easiest one. So tip prop tap tap. You can create a new property with prop snippet and confirm with tap tap. So I will let this int and name customer and postfix id and the entity framework will understand this like id because the name of this property is the same like the class with postfix id and I will keep this simple I will add only one more property prop tap tap string and name and there is the easiest class what you can create I will create the other two classes and speed this up. I will provide a link for this code in the description. So check it out. I created the relations between these classes as well. Let's check the result. I will switch to the author class. And once again, there is class with ID postfix name and the relationship with book class. The book has ID and title and then two relationships to the author and to the customer and here are the navigation properties for author and for customer as well and some of them are marked as virtual this allows entity framework to use lazy loading and there are also IDs we will need these IDs later in our views and this will be everything for now in the next few parts we will implement the data access layer for our application Thank you for watching, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and see you the next part.